Hello and welcome to this spreadsheet for SPMT loadout ramp design developed by the NavalArc.com. This spreadsheet can be used to design a simple steel plate to act as a ramp for loadout between a key and a barge, or another vessel, using a SPMT trailer. SPMT trailer is a vehicle on which the topside is loaded and it moves over the ramp using its wheels. As we can see in this figure, this plate acts as a ramp. This is a simple rectangular steel plate. Using the spreadsheet we can decide the optimum dimensions of this steel plate, or if we already have a steel plate we can evaluate whether that steel plate is fit for the purpose to act as a ramp. Let's see how this spreadsheet works. Basically the strength of the plate is evaluated by assuming the plate as a simply supported wide beam. This assumption is valid, given that the load from the trailer is uniformly distributed across the width of the plate. The plate can be assumed as a wide beam which is simply supported at both ends, and as the SPMT moves from key side to the barge, the load on the plate keeps on varying depending on how many number of wheels of the trailer are on the ramp. This spreadsheet evaluates the strength of this ramp for different load cases depending on how many wheels of the trailer are on the ramp. First is the input spreadsheet in which we need the geometry of the plate, and then the geometry of the trailer, and inputs like the length of the gap between the key and the barge. Once these inputs are provided, the entire calculation is done by the program. There's a button below which we can see title check plate strength. Once all these inputs have been provided, the user can simply click on this check plate strength and the program will generate different load cases. This is the first load case in which there's only one wheel of the SPMT on the ramp. For this case, it will generate a bending moment curve, and it will do the bending moment and shear stress check. Next case is case of two wheels on the ramp. For this case again it will generate the curves and do the strength check. Similarly for three wheels and four wheels cases. The number of wheels depends on the spacing between the wheels and the total length of gap between barge and key. This program generates all these graphics during runtime, and all these calculations and these additional worksheets are generated during the runtime itself. That's how this entire program works. We have made a few assumptions while developing this program. One assumption is that the plate is assumed as a wide beam. The second assumption or requirement is that the barge and the key should be on the same level and the plate should be completely horizontal. Another point to note is that there can be multiple files on the SPMT trailer, as we can see here, there are four files. In this case, the program designs the plate for one single file, as we can see here, this plate is designed for one file, and once we have the design ready for one file, then the same design can be used for other files, and all these plates placed together during the loadout can serve as the complete ramp for all the files during the loadout. The figure here is an illustration of a case in which there are four files on the SPMT, so we have to use four plates. That was about the SPMT loadout ramp design spreadsheet by the NavalArc.com. Please visit the website to download the spreadsheet and please provide us your valuable feedback. Thank you very much.